Hey guys, it's Shark Talk and welcome back to my channel. Well, I got some days without videos because I did have some work to do and these works were appearing one after the another and the real life needs works like to pay my views. And I couldn't make the videos, but I'll be doing some probably by tomorrow or unless there's more work for me to do. But I think they, there won't be. And then, uh, well, uh, there's a lot of things going on in the game right now, and they just announced some stuff on Facebook. Not just announced, they announced it quite some time ago, and it's the collaboration with the Bravely Default. And this Bravely Default campaign seems very nice indeed. I will show you guys here the information, and it says that we can get Green's unique orb by liking or sharing the this post on Facebook, you can uh, just click here then you'll be sent to the Facebook page and you can just click on like and share there and you just help this happen. And besides these things, you we can also get, um, let me just check here, we will get 1.5k gems and the unique orb from this girl, Rinus. Rinus is a very good character because of the part of skill, easy going is very good and she get it. I don't know if she's strong uh, when compared to the Japanese version, and I know for sure that the older characters got the, their status revamped, so they got some buffs, they are way better than they were in the Japanese version, so maybe she's strong, I will check this later. And then uh, there's one more thing that just mentioned here, and you, you will be getting three small stamina potions every day by doing some three quests. Uh, special from this event and also it says that this will last for quite some time it's just very strange that there's just so many times see it starts on uh, 17 of October and ends on 29 of November uh, I, maybe this is wrong or, or else just 1.5 month uh, it's just one month and a half I've never seen something last for quite this, that time in the and, and it also says here only 17 emissions. Uh, I don't know. Okay, uh, let me just close here. We can check this if it's still active already. Um, this one is from the half anniversary, and this one is from the fair dictionary. So maybe one when one ends, the other one starts. And fair dictionary. Let's just check there again and see what's the name of the other one. It says here, yeah, when one ends, the other one starts, but it's still very uh, circle, so the name is from Bradley Default. It's strange that a collaboration will stay alive for so many times. But okay, let's just check more and more stuff. We have the Define Weapon banner for the two new characters that are related to the Bradley Default series. They are from the first game, Agnes and Ring Bell. They are the protagonists of the game. Uh, uh, there's two more protagonists where they are not here, but it's uh, interesting because these are the characters that are very loved. I think the, the three characters besides the main character are very loved and they uh, also appear on the other game. So when we check here we can see that there's two new weapons and two characters, but there's one of the weapons is, is a 5 star, so we're getting um, back to something that never happened uh, in the recent times. We never had uh, five star weapons on the banner again. Not from Event. This was quite some time. I think the last one was from maybe original Hakuri or the Event after the original Hakuri. So uh, we see that we have Agnes and he ring a bell here. Agnes is a sorcerer from the lightning element, uh, from the holy element, and we have ring a bell from the I don't even know what's his dark element. It's dark element. So before we, we talk about everything, we have to talk that Agnes is having, a, like I said, a buff to her status. She has almost double the values on her mega attack, around 20% increase on HP, and around 30% increase on defenses. It's very, very nice increase. I think it's the highest difference between Japanese version and the, and the global version so far, and I really like this because it makes these characters um, more interesting than they should be if they just didn't get this type of buff. 
but also they are from the second generation, they don't have the many strong passive skills like the Eventide Hakori or Kokuyo or the characters that came after them. But they are still interesting to have, I think. But I'll be doing a review on them later. I still have to do the four reviews that I'm still having pending, but I think I'll be try to do this as soon as possible. And there is another thing that we need to see here is that the damage bonus is 300% for the two characters and also for the six star weapon. And why it is? Because the six star weapon can be used by any of the characters, it just can't. So you can stack to uh, the character plus event weapon. So this is why they are giving 300% damage bonus to these characters, but it's just like a one man party if you do the math. Uh, it's just like a quadruple damage, it's very very high, so... But the, the two characters are not as strong because of what I'm saying, they are, don't have the status or the passives to compare them to third generation characters. You see that the passive here, the reduced damage taken by dark attacks and lower chance of being blinded. This type of skill doesn't happen when a character is from the third generation, it's all about damage. The, the third generation is all about damage. These characters have skills that are not related to them, and like this one, aggressive activities of action skills that recover HP. This doesn't happen with characters from the third generation at all. That's it. The bow is very interesting. It's from the holy element, but it says dark here on the right, but it's wrong. And it has to be upgraded to the max so it can become very good, because it's only two attacks. You have to increase it at least to level three, so you get the max. And it's actually uh, not that bad of a weapon to make a legendary evolution if you happen to have a uh, whole user of the Holy Enemy. But I don't think we have a good one. So this is just uh, for a possible future. But it's still an option. Because it increases actual damage further by 10%. We have to get some good passives to make our weapons even better. So equip to awaken the true power of Rene. That's good, because Rene is free. Uh, like I said, I don't know if Rene will be getting a buff uh, like these other characters. I will try to get her by tomorrow, and I will do a review and talk about it so we can check. Then... I hope we can get this buff bow to at least one copy of it. Okay, so this is the 5 star weapon. It's just terrible. It only gives us 75% more damage and only 10 of the ancient book. And all the... People here give more drops of the the characters give more drops on the first part. It's for Kelly Fairy Brooches and the other ones give this ancient book. So let's just close here. We have more to talk about. And we started the Valhalla Mines um, two days ago. This event is just another tower event. It's very, very easy for veterans because the last stage is only 74 recommended might. And these characters here, uh, these bosses are not that strong, and most of them can be one shot if you're just getting the, even the Valhalla assault free weapons, you can probably one shot most of these bosses if you're a veteran. And if you're not, you can also bring your friends from most uh, most stages here, I think only from the 70 onwards you can, and the best rewards end up with the last Awakening Ember on the stage 50. It's not hard to do it, you can just get uh, a friend, a good strong friend, and clear up to here, get all your three Awakening Embers, and be done with it. All the other rewards are skippable. Okay, it's very nice to get this type of event. So let's just close, and the last thing we have here is that something just returned, and it's a very interesting thing, is the event called Celestial Beast. You see that it's returned here, I really hope this girl happens to appear more than once because she's very nice, she was very well designed, and she's very unique, she's still useful in the game, and, be and besides this, she's a character that kind of matches the, the direction of this game. I don't think she looks like too much of an outsider, she even has a good story on this game, she also has some relation to Odin, uh, probably a uh, not canon relationship, but it's very interesting uh, at the same time. So we will see that we have some of the information about the stages here. It's very easy because the last stage is only 45k. Uh, this event is very old. Uh, we got it from three months and, and maybe two and a half month when the game started. And this girl was a beast back there. She's still usable now because she can heal a lot of the bar. And this event has something very unique. You see that we have uh, five of the six star millenniums uh, holy staff. 
and we can get some of them by going getting this crash fever gold coin this gold coin is uh, um, just for stages you get from the harder stages and the first one you get with the, the other ones you get with the silver coins the first of the null can be the first gold coin can be gotten from the first stages I think it's this here gold crash fever coin the first stage you just get it just get your Millennium Hall staff the first one uh, keep farming on the first stage you will get more trade for silver and silver here is these three ones can be gotten from silver so then you start um, your farming keep farming with all the copies of the Millennium Hall staff you can have you can get all the items just leave the last two of the Millennium Hall staff for the last stage because you have to get it from gold coins so this is it uh, uh, there's uh, something that I need to be talking and this event doesn't have um, all the items back. If you're finished with this event, you have nothing to do here. Because nothing was resetted. You can't get another Millennium Hall staff. You see, uh, I have everything from this event already. So this is it. And then uh, I didn't talk about the, the other character. We talked about Agnes, but I didn't talk about the other character. Let's just check in here. And it's ring a bell. Ring a bell, uh, didn't talk about his status, and his status is very similar to Agnes. He also got a very, very strong buff, he can, uh, got around 1000 more fight squad attacks, so it's very, very different. He got more fight squad defense, around 30% increase, and uh, something around 50% of mag defense increase. Also on low HP, around 20% increase, it's very, very awesome, made these characters very better than the uh, Japanese versions. But still, like I said, their passives are not as strong as they have some passives that doesn't matter much in the game. Like, to reduce them, damage taken and dark attacks, but only for him. Unless you can stack this type of stuff, it doesn't matter. Uh, well, okay, this is it. I don't think there's more things here. We'll just be doing this event by tomorrow. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please subscribe if you haven't, and we see each other in the next video. Bye!